challenged with the idea of how do you interact with people who you know voted for this, right? If you are an LGBTQ person and you know someone in your family voted essentially against your rights or you're a woman, knowing that, you know, this man was calling people the B word, J.D. Vance was literally calling Kamala Harris the trash and said, we're going to take out the trash. I know a lot of black women were incredibly triggered by that. And if you then meet somebody and you know they voted for the people who called you trash, or if you're Puerto Rican, you know, and you know someone voted that way, do you recommend just from a psychological standpoint being around them? We got the holidays coming up. So I love that you asked this question because, you know, there is a push, I think just a societal norm that if somebody is your family, that they are entitled to your time. And I think the answer is absolutely not. So if you are going to a situation where you have family members, where you have close friends who you know have voted in ways that are against you, like what you said, against your livelihood, and it's completely fine to not be around those people and to tell them why, you know, to say, I have a problem with the way that you voted. So this is not going to be a long video. And I know I sometimes say this is not going to be a long video, but this one really is not going to be a long video because I don't think I have the bandwidth right now to even go into this full throttle. I caught this on Joy Reid's show on MSNBC. She's here talking to some mental health professional. I can't remember if she's a psychiatrist, a psychologist. I just felt it was bad advice. And this is precisely why you have to be careful about who you get your counsel from. Joy started out talking about the fact that people would be a little hesitant to get around family members or friends for the holidays who may have voted against their best interest. Everybody votes for their own best interest, including Joy Reid and her supporters and her family members. Everybody votes for their own best interest. Second of all, she mentioned the trash comment, which did not come from Donald Trump. It came from a comedian who stupidly decided to test out new material at a most inappropriate time. But Donald Trump didn't say it. But you know who did say it? You know who did call people garbage? Joe Biden. So again, I wish she had been a bit more transparent about the fact that it's both sides that have been causing havoc for the other side. Now back to the bad advice that this lady gave. And of course, I'm not a mental health uh, professional. I'm not a, you know, a psychiatrist, a psychologist. I just know bad advice when I hear it. And as someone who has suffered with seasonal affective disorder, I know what it feels like during the holidays. And I don't feel this anymore, thank God, but to feel very alone and just to feel very depressed during the holidays. And I think for her to say, well, you know, if you have family members and friends who voted differently from you and you feel like they voted against your best interest, it's probably not in your best interest to be around those people. You should probably just stay away from them. And I think that's bad advice. We have the holidays coming up. We're weeks away from Thanksgiving. And then of course we have Christmas right around the corner. And a lot of people do not, they're not able to see their family on a regular basis, right? And so the holidays are really and truly the only opportunity for them to come together and spend time with their loved ones and catch up on what's going on in everybody's life. It's a very sacred and personal and um, wonderful time to be with family members. And that is not the time of year or in anyone's life if they're suffering from what, what's known as sad to be by themselves, right? And even if you don't suffer from that, the holidays are about getting together and spending time with loved ones. Time is so short, you don't know if the person who you mad with today is gonna to be here today. I can't even say tomorrow. You don't even know if today you're pissed off at them and then tonight they're gone. And so I, I thought that the, the professional, the guest, should have said something along the lines of, you know, yes, you're definitely gonna be disappointed after the outcome of the election. And I know some people are very disappointed in their, 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 their hurting, but there's a ways around that. She just went to the extreme for me because the way around it is to say to family members, hey, we're coming together for Thanksgiving. You know, I want to see everybody. Mima is getting older. Papa is getting older. I want us all to be together, but here are the conditions. We could talk about anything you want to talk about, but let's leave politics aside. We have to come to some consensus. So what you do is you get your little family group chat going. And you say, listen, we want to, we want to come together, but we have a rule. This is the rule. Tell me if you're okay with this. No politics at the dinner table. No politics at the dinner table when we're eating. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about family. Let's talk about God. Let's talk about work. But no politics because it's too divisive. If you have to speak politics, we would ask for y'all to just kind of go outside away from the collective. You know, and I think most people would be like, all right, cool. We're good with that. 
And there might be people who say, no, I'm not cool with that. I want to be able to talk about whatever. Then if you see like there's that like disregard for the collective, then you can say, you know what, I might just skip this holiday. Um, um, I might just skip this this Thanksgiving meal or I might just skip the whatever, or, you know, but you have to talk to family members. But I don't think the solution or the, the natural default position should be that you just stay away from your family members. I think this is just so petty. It's crazy to me. And I, I, I've said before in like old videos that we're big on politics in the Bahamas, but I don't think I've ever experienced anything like this in my life. I literally had coworkers who were on like different sides of the political aisle, but they would be going to lunch with each other and they would clown each other about their choices. And guess what? They still were cool with one another. And here it's like people are like talking about not even getting together for the holidays. Like y'all tripping. Y'all taking this too seriously. These politicians who you think is so divided, you see them hugging up each other and talking to each other um, at the end of the day. Even if they don't like each other on the surface, I'm sure they find some sort of commonality. But I was just, just, just very disappointed with this bad advice from me because I thought it was very extreme. And I don't think that the holidays are the time for you to be self-isolating. I think that's when you're just making it too, uh, you know, you're making it, you're making yourself like, the most important thing that's going on. But you know, with the holidays here, like I said earlier, we don't know if our loved ones are going to be with us today, tomorrow, in a month. And I personally would feel, <laughs> politics wouldn't even mean a damn thing to me if somebody who I love, I chose not to be around them because of some, some disagreement over, over politics. It's just stupid. And so I just thought this was really bad advice. And, you know, Joy Reid just continues on along her divisive narrative. And it's just, I just, I don't get it. And to me, her question was very leading because if she really wanted a neutral answer, and I think the guest just fell for it. If she wanted a neutral answer, she could have said, we've got Dr. Rogan West here, you know, to discuss how we can navigate the holidays, especially with such a contentious environment after that uh, election. You know, Dr. West, how can families get together and, and still have a great time without feelings being getting hurt or something like that? You know what I mean? Something. But the goal is to, to unite the family. But no, these ladies are interested in dividing the family. That's all I have to say. Just be very careful about the counsel that you get. Anyway, like I said, I think the holidays are time to get together with family members. Listen, and I've been here before in the sense of I have family members who believe different things politically. And we sit around and when it gets super contentious, I say, listen, we don't, we need to drop this, this conversation. Let's just move on from this. Let's talk about something else. Let's not tune into this channel or this network or that let's, let's not, let's watch something that can bring us together. Let's just watch something that can bring us to get together. Because if I know something is going to be incredibly divisive, I don't want to continue down that trajectory. I want to kind of remove that so I could focus on my loved one. And I've had to tell people, let's not, let's not talk about this. And sometimes people get upset, but I'm like, if I know it's going to create a problem for us, let's not do that. Let's just, let's just have a good time. And I would say to anybody out there, unless that is who you are, unless you are the type of person who is just like, I don't want to be around family members. I never come around when they're having Thanksgiving and this, that, and the next. If that's who you are, that's fine. But if you are somebody who loves being around family members, you're going to, in my estimation, regret isolating from your family. And you're going to feel it, especially if something happens to somebody and you, you weren't there or you didn't spend some last moments with them because of stupid politics. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this um, whole scenario. For those of you who are so um, hurt over the, the results of the election, do you plan to stay away from your family members who might have an opposing viewpoint from you or different politics from you? Or are you going to be like, we're going to go and have a good time at our Thanksgiving and Christmas and you know, deal with whatever we got to deal with. Are any of you creating rules that you can't talk about politics around the dinner table? Tell me what y'all are doing for the holidays. Anyway, if you like my commentary, you like my style, you enjoy my presentation and you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please go ahead and do so. If you've been around for a while and you want to become a member, please hit that description box and you're going to see all the information there that will tell you how to become a member. I am now on Rumble. I have been stenching for such a long time, but finally I um, just started posting my content to Rumble. So if those of you 
who come across YouTube, sometimes like lurking on Rumble or that's your platform, then you're going to see my content over on Rumble as well. And if you would like to support this channel financially, you can do so. All the information is down below in the description box. You can also buy me a coffee at the link, buy me a coffee down below. And again, just weigh in in the conversation and let me know what you all think. And I will see you all in the next video.